Hey everybody, we caught some fish this week and so I wanted to show you how to do a Gyo Taku right here on the bay off of the coast of Texas. We've laid our fish out, we've wiped them off and made sure they're good and dry. And these are some of the things you're gonna need in order to do a Gyo Taku. If you've got a fish, that would be great. But if you don't have a fish, you could use a leaf or you could use a branch, anything that would make a print. We have a fish and I'm actually gonna do a crab too. So you'll need something to make a print of. And then if you wanna do it like the Japanese do it, you will use rice paper. So I've got us some rice paper. I'll hand that out in just a moment. I have ink. This is Sumi ink. It is non-toxic. So if your fish is still alive, you can ink him real quick, take the print and then put him back, wash him and put him back in the water. Or if you plan on eating your fish, it's non-toxic so you can wash it off and then go home and have somebody cook it up for you. So ink, and then you'll need a brush. And then I use a little sponge and we're gonna brush that Sumi ink onto the fish. And then we're gonna kind of pat it to make sure there's no big globs of ink on him. And as soon as we get the ink on him, we'll use our rice paper and we're going to gently press the rice paper down onto the fish and rub him real good. And then you're gonna gently take it off. I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually done this with the rice paper and the Sumi ink. So I've got some good friends here that are gonna experiment with me and they may turn out beautiful, they may not, but it's still a whole lot of fun. Hang on, now comes the big reveal. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. But we're about to find out. You guys ready? We're gonna gently peel it off and hold it like a book again so that she can see it. Here we go. Mine, not so much. <laughs> Let me see yours. 
Oh, I can tell it's a fish. It looks like he's a fish that got stabbed. <laughs> and I can see yours. I think out of all four, I'm the big loser. But I don't care. It was still fun. It looks like a crab, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be fun to try a few more. Are you guys up for it? Yes, ma'am. All right. I want to encourage you to try this at home. Use some paint, so acrylic paint, and find something to make a pattern with. And this feels kind of like a paper towel. Try a paper towel or a piece of tissue. All I want you to remember is have fun doing it. Thanks for joining us.